Well, Super Tuesday is now in the books. Here's a look at how the candidates did. Yeah, Joe Biden was the big winner. He took Alabama, Arkansas, Massachusetts, Minnesota, North Carolina, Oklahoma, Tennessee, Texas, and Virginia. Bernie Sanders took California, Colorado, Utah, and Vermont. Well, right now, that puts Biden over Sanders with 345 pledged delegates to Bernie's 269. And this morning, we are bringing in our political analyst, Mark Sandalo, for some insight into Tuesday's results. Hi, Mark. Good morning. We saw those numbers from Biden, who has the lead right now. So does this make him the front runner for the Democratic nomination? Good morning, Donna. I, I think it does. And uh, that long list that Rob just rattled off shows you the extent of his victories and Maine Throw that in as well. Maine's too close to call, but Biden has a small lead right now. The most important thing for Biden right now is he helped shed his image as someone who can't win. You know, Biden has run for president four times. It wasn't until Saturday in South Carolina that he had ever done better than third place in a caucus or a primary. And that was back in his home state of Delaware back uh, a, a decade ago. So. If Biden can convince Democratic voters who seem more intent on defeating Donald Trump than any other issue out there, then he has he has launched himself into the lead. He's not the presumptive nominee. There's still a lot of states, including Missouri, yet to come. That said, Biden's in a better position than anyone else. Yeah, let's unpack that a little bit, Mark. You mentioned Missouri. Of course, the primary vote here, it's, it's just around the corner on March 10th. I mean, how, how will Missouri's 78 delegates play into the race? So it looked like, if you'd asked me this two weeks ago, I would have said, you know, you're coming after Super Tuesday. Sorry, it'll probably be decided. Um, and that's just not the case anymore. Suddenly, Missouri is important. Now, Michigan's likely to get more attention uh, next week just because they have more delegates at stake. But look, Missouri's... Missouri is no longer a bellwether state when it comes to who wins the presidential election. We've gone Republican a number of years in a row, even when Democrats have won. But if you look at who has won the Missouri primary over the last 25 years, you know, it, it, it is uh, um, Clinton, Obama, Kerry, Gore, um, uh, Carter, Dukakis, Mondale. These are everyone who has won in Missouri has gone to capture the nomination. So you're going to get those political ads. And if you do the rest of the nation a favor, four years ago, I can't remember how many nights in a row we had to stay up to figure out your results as, well, I, I, just, I just looked this up. Hillary Clinton beat Sanders by... 1,726 votes, which was two-tenths of one percent. It's a lot easier when the margin's a little bigger than that. Well, and as you said, Missouri, an important state. Joe Biden will be here in Kansas City mm -hmm. uh, on Saturday, Saturday. So Mark Sandalo, always appreciate your insight. As Mark mentioned, Missourians, they vote March the 10th. Polls open at 6 Tuesday morning. They close at 7 that night in Kansas. The Democratic primary is May 2nd. And there's no GOP caucus in Kansas this year because the state party is putting all of its support behind the president. And a reminder that you can count on us for all of your Commitment 2020 coverage. We'll have your primary coverage leading up to and through both the Missouri and Kansas primaries. Look for live reports on air. Get full updates online at KMBC.com and on our KMBC9 News app.